Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to cover what happened to the original A-Team van and the A-Team Corvette. And first off, I'm going to talk about the uh, Corvette, as you can see on the screen here. And I had the privilege of meeting Dirk Benedict about a year ago, who was face on the A-Team and an autograph show. And he stated that the Corvette was last owned by someone in Wisconsin. And I also did check the uh, VIN records online. And yes, the last location of the Corvette was in Wisconsin. But but what I also found too, back in 2011, that was as far as I could dig on the car, uh, it had an auction on eBay and it went for, it was, the starting auction was like $40,000 as you saw on the uh, screen here. And it is indeed the original car. So I did a lot of fact checking and here's some pictures I wanted to show you. There's the leather seats. So there's a lot of excellent documentation on the car. And check this out, these were actual blank shells that was believed to be used on the AT that were under the seats. How cool is that? I mean they just found all this stuff in this car. And here's the title that was a uh, title for uh, Stephen Kennel Productions back in 1983. So he actually bought one of the first uh, C4 Corvettes when he started coming out with the C4 style of the Corvette. And it has the uh, address, which was 7083 uh, Hollywood Boulevard, uh, California. And I actually wanted to show you too, as a, a TV history buff like myself, uh, where the uh, Stephen Kennel Productions was for so many years. And now it's a actual WeWorks uh, office space. So here's the map. And here's the location. And actually it was uh, down the street from uh, the uh, Grauman's Chinese Theater. So this is a really popular tourist attraction area. Of course you see all the guys dressed up in their uh, Batman costumes wanting to pay for their pictures and everything. But anyways. Here's the location. I'm going to drop the little guy here so you can kind of see what the building looks like now. This is kind of just an extra I wanted to put in the video. So here we go. I'm going to try to get the front of the front shot of the building on the corner here. Let's kind of turn this around here. So this is where Stephen Kennel did all of his writing and everything. And his production, that's where his uh, production office was. So now we're going to cover the original 18 van. Okay, so here's a virtual uh, shot of the van. This is really cool. It's from Virtual Globe Trotting. You got to check it out. And check out that creepy face there. It just caught my attention when I first went on the screen here. So what happened with this van? This is the, one of the two hero vans. They only had two hero vans. They had a total of eight vans. The other six were crashed and destroyed from all the stunts. But here's one of the hero vans. And this is, it looks like it's all original. They might have done some work with it. And here's kind of a back shot of the museum in the uh, UK. But I'm glad they were actually able to find and relocate this van, which was back in February 2018. And the, uh, they had an interview with uh, Jerry, Jerry Garrett and uh, Craig Baxley about the vans. And he said that they used mainly the GMC vans which are called the Vanderas fans. Oh, here's the original Munsters coach in the background there. But they, again, they crashed six of the vans. There was, and there was like one Ford van, but there were two Hero vans, and this is one of them. This is the actual TV used van, according to the records, which now resides in the UK. So, and what I, I, I was hunting around and I actually discovered that they're going to have an auction around January 22nd of uh, one of the 18 vans. Now keep in mind this is not one of the TV used vans. 
But this fan here was actually... Uh, the title was uh, for Universal Studios. So Universal Studios actually owned this fan that you're seeing here. But it was not used in the TV show. And I tried to... I, they had a VIN number. It was like actually a short VIN number. It wasn't 17 characters long. I tried to do a history check on the VIN number and nothing was coming up on the VIN number. So I, I you know, I'm not sure about the VIN number with this van. But this is a pretty cool van. Look at it. It's got the uh, gun in the back and everything. The 50 caliber gun. And it's got the sidearm that... Uh, Hannibal Smith would use and check this out they even equipped it with the uh, a CB radio and a police scanner so we can hear that the cops are coming from and everything so this was used for like world of wheels and what have you it has 90,000 original miles on it this is actually a 1979 van so and here's the front it's kind of just stock everything stock as far as the motor is concerned but it's just really cool to see this. The auction is happening on 2021 in late January. So if you want to look it up, I'll have the, uh, the uh, link in the description posted. So they kind of just talk about the history in the, of the van and everything. So it's really cool. So if you really want to own an 18 van, there you go, man. It's all right, ready to go with the guns and everything. <laughs> you could be just like BA. So, and here's my autograph again. And again, thank you so much for watching my videos. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.